Hello everyone, today's video I want to discuss Umbra Initiative with you, it's one of the gear sets we had yet to try on the Division 2 Season 10, we've uh, had a look at everything else pretty much, but Umbra Initiative I left till last and I threw a quick build together uh, the other day just to test it out and it's really, really good. What we did was we took one of our raid builds and we just altered it to fit Umbra Initiative in and the rate of fire, like this is an Eagle Bearer raid build we're going to show you today and the rate of fire that it gives that Eagle Bearer is absolutely Absolutely insane and so fun to use so i want to start a discussion today with you about around umbra initiative what builds you are making with them i'll quickly show you this uh kind of like raid build uh, raid build adaption that i've done with umbra initiative and show you some clips as well because it is really insane that's today's video please do hit like and share to support the video if you do enjoy it subscribe if you're new here today for more content from myself and uh, most importantly a shout out to commu our community as always we're over twenty five thousand members if you need help with raids help with anything just want to look for people to play with come and join us at the end of today's video it's linked at the top of the video description so first things first i'm going to show you some clips of this build in action and then we're going to get into the build that ad just jumped down back down over the back. He did. Oh, wow. One clip that is. And done. That's mad, that is mad. Let me do the right side on my own as well, please. Just f for the start, sorry. If we have to two phase, we have to two phase. Everyone go left. Left on. Okay, one minute. I think I've soloed the right. Yeah, that's sweet. I like it. I could have got more fire rate then as well. Ah, I love it. <laughs> absolutely deleted like they're erased they weren't even born like you get that fire rate on their head that they just go and the stagger is pretty instant so you don't shoot back pretty certain i could just shoot boomer in the head and not the bomb let me test yeah there we go boomer too so I just wanted to show off some clips there of the fire rate mainly with this build because it's absolutely incredible. We'll talk through the Umbra Initiative now exactly how it works and why you're getting that fire rate. So for two pieces of Umbra Initiative, it's giving you a critical hit chance of 15%. Three pieces, you get 30% reload speed. And then the fourth for four pieces rather you get from the shadows into the light so while you're in cover you're gaining 10 stacks per second up to 50 each stack giving you one percent crit hit damage and 0.3 percent rpm the buff doesn't apply while you're shooting from cover though you've got to come out of cover to take for it to take effect uh, but while you're out of cover you're going to lose two stacks per second at normal speed and one stack per second if sprinting but also you are going to gain more stacks per second up to 50 and each of these stacks will give you 0.8 percent armory gen when it is consumed so that's stacking my out of cover and again that can't be used out of cover you've got to go back into cover to use that stacks consume 10 stacks per second when you're back in cover so that's how it works so the idea is very very simply you're going to go in cover to get your rpm and your crit hit damage buff you'll come out of cover and you'll use it and that rpm really is insane as you just in, as you just seen in those clips then it's incredible it's mad to see the eagle bearer firing that fast and it's so much fun and then I'm also getting that armor regen while I'm doing that to go back in cover and get a bit of a heal as well. I was testing that out. It's not the biggest heal in the world, but it is nice and it can save you using a few med kits. But if you have a healer on your team, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, so what I did with this build, after looking at it and playing with it on the PTS, I wasn't too fussed about it, if I'm being honest with you, which is why we've left it a little bit late. But I thought I could quickly amend one of my raid builds to make this work. Now, this is not going to be the best Umbra Initiative build on the planet. I'm sure there's loads of good ones out there, but this is what I want to do today i want to discuss umbra initiative and i want your ideas of how you're using this gear set on your builds because a lot of people are highly rating it so what i did i used my glass cannon vigilance build and we uh, threw it together like this we got the grenade launcher specialization uh, with the concussion grenade i'm using my eagle bearer but any other assault rifle will do 
doesn't have to be the eagle bearer the secondary i'm using is a baker's dozen to be fair with the way this works i probably take off the baker's dozen and go with a classic m1a and get a different talent on it because using the baker's dozen with this build doesn't make sense because you're going to be in cover but you want to take advantage of the procs you get out of cover so uh switch that to a classic m1a with boomerang or something sidearm doesn't really matter at all and the four pieces of umbra initiative i've got on the mask gloves knees and holster and every single one of them is rolled to crit damage so crit damage on the mask there gloves knee pads and holster and then i've got crit damage mods on the build as well as you can see on the mask there and the other two pieces uh, i'm using a grupo chest piece with glass cannon so we've got a uh, crit hit damage roll crit hit chance roll crit hit damage mod and glass cannon there for the amplified 25 percent damage and the fenris backpack with crit hit chance crit hit damage a crit hit damage mod again and vigilance to increase my total, total weapon damage by 25 percent when i'm not taking damage and that's the quick build that i threw together if you watch me on my rage you know i use perfect glass cannon with vigilance from a dps build so i wanted just to turn that into a number of initiative build and this is how i did it and it's so much fun i had a lot of fun testing this on that dark hours raid in stream recently and that fire rate is just really really good it's got me thinking of how else i could put a build together around this and i'm thinking about like legendary builds as well obviously we won't be going into legendary with glass cannon but i'm thinking this could be good with some legendary dps builds or maybe even solo legendary builds we'll see but i really want to know what you guys think in the comments of how you're putting this build together and a quick look at the stats of this build is that i'm at 46.6 percent .6 critical hit chance and 180.2 percent critical hit damage this build is so much fun to use and I can't wait to test out other variations with this gear set. A lot of people are going to be asking why did I use the chest because I think the chest increases that crit damage from 50% or crit damage buff from 50% to 100% and also increases the RPM. Uh, but as I answered in stream, I feel I haven't tested this out so maybe you can answer this for me. But I don't feel um, that extra 50% critical hit damage is worth it when I have glass cannon that's amplifying all damage by 25%. So at the minute, the Umbra Initiative without the chest piece is giving you 50% extra critical hit damage. If I use the chest piece, it goes up to 100%. So I can gain that extra 50% critical hit damage, or I can just go for a flat out 25% amplified damage, which is also going to increase the initial 50%, if that makes sense. So I haven't tested it out, but that's why I'm not using the chest. And the backpack talent of the gear set only increases the armor regen, which I'm not too fussed on, if I'm being honest with you. But I want to discuss this gear set. I want to discuss builds around this gear set. So please, now we're done with the video, comment down below with builds you're creating around it, ideas for me, so I can go and try and see if there's something better I can cook up with and share more videos in the future. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to hit like and share to support the video. Subscribe if you're new here. Go and comment down below. And also, now we're done, and check out our great communities linked at the top of the video description we'll see you in there until next time thank you for watching stay safe and peace out